We got new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Total shock. I don't think many people saw this coming. The pyro was out. Cody Rhodes style for Aaliyah and Raquel Rodriguez as they win the Women's Tag Team titles. No Sasha Banks, no Naomi. A lot of people sort of penciled them in to return at the end of the tournament. That didn't happen tonight. But if I'm honest as a fan... I'm quite pleased it didn't, because why would you want to take this moment away from Aaliyah? Look how happy she is! Honestly, you love to see people enjoy their jobs, right? Before Raw even started tonight, we saw this on social media. A fight in the parking lot between Riddle and Seth Rollins, which WWE did show on the show. And of course, this was just before Matt Riddle got his name back. And also, Seth lost his freaking... Not his freaking something, his freaking, you know, Seth freaking Rollins. I really like this. I love the bit where they went to commercial break, said, hey, their microphones were still on. Listen. And oh my God, that went non-PG very quickly. Well, it didn't because they bleeped it. But this is Things You Might Have Missed from Monday Night Raw. If you haven't already, make sure you've hit the like button. It really does help the videos on YouTube. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now, there was some glitches this week on Raw. One, during Dolph Ziggler's, they sort of went split screen and it kind of glitched a tiny bit. Interestingly, during the match with Dolph Ziggler and AJ in Judgment Day, the actual LED barricade turned off for just a brief second. I don't know if that's a glitch or just a technical glitch. And then during Bailey's entrance with Bailey, EO and Dakota, this was the screen, another glitch, kind of similar to the first one. Now, I don't know what these are. It could be the Raw Hacker is about to debut. Mustafa Ali's not doing that much. Could be a whole new gimmick. But if you saw them too, let me know in the comments below. We had Dexter Loomis stalking The Miz backstage. I love this. One minute he was here and the next he was gone. Who was this guy? I don't know, but he wasn't Dexter Loomis. I think we're all living under the same like, illusion as The Miz right now. It's insane. But The Miz basically didn't want to talk about Dexter Loomis and what happened to him. I like that. I like the fact he didn't just ignore it because obviously Miz is back. But just as Miz looked like he could put Lashley away, he spotted Dexter Loomis in the crowd. But this is what I really like about WWE. We all see it. We all know what's going on. Dexter disappeared. And I like the fact they acknowledge it. Who was that? We didn't see anything. Like, uh, Kevin Patrick afterwards, like, what did you see? Like, I mean, watch the show, dude, and you would have seen what we saw, right? <laughs> I love what they're doing with Dexter. They've really done something great to introduce him and get people talking about him. And just as Miz thought it was over and he was going home, Dexter is in the back of his car. Oh, my God, he's going to get in Miz's house, isn't he? Oh, my God. <laughs> I love this so much. It's so good. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Now, Judgment Day. This was really cool. They took on AJ and Dolph Ziggler. The first interaction properly between Balor and AJ since they teamed against the Judgment Day and Balor joined them. Now, Balor did try to mock AJ in this match. But interestingly, AJ didn't attack Finn. There was no physical altercation between the two. And AJ didn't stop. Strike. He didn't punch Finn Balor. Why? Interesting. Obviously, Edge would come down to the ring. This was kind of weird for me because he's mocking the Judgment Day, talking about them being emo, mocking the name. Dude, you created it. Like, only a few months ago as well. And I don't know. That was a little bit weird. Are we just meant to forget Edge was ever in Judgment Day? But of course, the Mysterios would attack... But then Dominic had Rhea corner, kind of, with a kid no stick. Now, Dominic didn't swing, but Rhea got him to lower the stick and hand it to her. Now, this was interesting. We've seen Rhea beat up Dom for weeks. Now, is Dom listening to Rhea Ripley? Could Dom still join the Judgment Day? A lot of people thought it could happen. It obviously didn't happen. I don't know. But the Judgment Day do have new t-shirt available on WWE Shop. Love that. It's just like the CGI graphic you get for the Judgment Day. Really cool. Nice to see them getting some merch. And their match is official for Clash at the Castle. It's going to be Edge and Ray versus the Judgment Day. Balor and Priest 
with Rhea and Dom at ringside. That fact was established backstage. I don't know, man. I honestly, I think Dominic's going to turn. I think he's joining the Judgment Day. <coughs> Lily returned to Monday Night Raw this week after a leave of absence last week. Now, that definitely adds to my theory. She was stopped at the border, you know, being a demonic doll. She couldn't get into Canada. Hopefully she makes it into the UK for Clash at the Castle. But of course, Alexa, Bianca and Oscar took on... A job attack team! Oh, I love this. This means... Who the f*** are you? In all honesty, I have no idea who they are. WWE didn't name them. They didn't have a little graphic that tells you their names or anything, which is kind of a shame. But nonetheless, afterwards, there was some controversy. This sign got held up in the front row. I won't read it, but ouch. And you saw security here jump the barricade and obviously run over and confiscate that sign... I won't show it again, but honestly, good. They shouldn't have signs like that. Why be horrible to people? Are they doing it? Are they going to reunite Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? Seeds planted. You know what? Seriously, shout out to Zero News because dude called this. Everyone said it wasn't going to happen. It happened. The throwback to when uh, Kevin Owens faced Roman Reigns. I like that. 18 months ago. Long-term storytelling a little bit by WWE. Could we get Kevin and Sammy versus the Usos for the tag team titles? That would be really cool. I, I'd like to see that. They actually also showed Drew McIntyre's back tonight on Raw. A lot of people were actually weird on social media on Friday and said there's no way WWE would show this on the show. Well, you know what? They did. So if you thought that, well, you were wrong. <laughs> also, Kurt Angle was back tonight. Of course, the Olympic gold medalist. I love the fact Kurt didn't wear a shirt. And of course, he did have the segment with Alpha Academy. I love that too. Chad Gable's awesome. The Street Profits come out after they beat up the Alpha Academy. It was a milk celebration, I'm telling you. This was so much fun. Genuinely, Milkamania is running wild. If you don't know what I mean, Google Milkamania. I think Kurt Angle even got an actual playset come out with the whole milk truck and Stone Cold and Stephanie McMahon, really fun. But nonetheless, Edge got Kurt Angle 20 years later with signs. I love this as well. The throwback, as I said, 20 years ago to the segment and they did it again. This is what WWE should do. They're so rich with history to do these callbacks and throwbacks. Really cool. Let me know your thoughts on Raw in the comments section down below. I'd give it a very solid 8 out of 10. I, love, I like this Raw, I can't lie. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Of course, turn on those notifications. You'll never miss an upload. Like the video, share the video, and I will, as always, see you next time. Peace!